Hi guys, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2050 is rather controversial video card. On one hand, it is a cheap laptop GPU that can launch games with DLSS. On the other hand, it is a GPU that is positioned as RTX, but in fact it couldn't launch games with RTX on. So should you buy a laptop with RTX 2050 if you would like to play games at least sometimes? And in fact, RTX 2050 was assigned to replace GTX 6050. If we look on the performance of RTX 2050 and GTX 6050, in many games GTX 6050 will beat 2050, especially if we will compare with RTX 2050 35 watts. And it is really a weird situation when RTX 2050 is showing worse performance than older GTX 6050. The main benefit of RTX 2050 is NVIDIA DLSS that is implemented in many games, and this feature will slightly increase the performance. As for RTX feature, I can say that it is a benefit of RTX 2050, as you won't be able to use RTX. This video card can barely launch modern games with high settings and there is no talk about RTX on. At the same time, GTX 6050 has an alternative feature MDFSR, which can do the same resolution upscale as NVIDIA DLSS do. FSR is a some kind of free analogy of DLSS from AMD. FSR games library are lesser than NVIDIA DLSS has, but it is growing every day. So I think RTX 2050 doesn't have many benefits against GTX 6050, and I would advise at first to check TGP specs of the exact laptop with RTX 2050, as it may even appear that RTX 2050 laptop can show worse performance than older laptop with GTX 6050. And if you are choosing a laptop, I would advise to choose that model that has better price and more fits for your requirements. As for example, RTX 2050 doesn't have the support of HDMI and NVIDIA G-Sync, which is mean that you cannot connect monitor to your laptop and play with RTX 2050. And with GTX 6050 in laptops, it is possible to connect outside monitor to your laptop and play in using NVIDIA G-Sync. Thank you guys for watching this video, like and subscribe it if it was useful. Thank you again and goodbye.